Hey, look, somebody asked me a question. I better answer it. Hey, it's Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com, and I have one more question to answer. This should be short uh, because this is a very easy one to answer, but it's important because a lot of people out there probably don't realize the difference between the fuels when they're buying at the pump. So this question is from Jay. Jay wants to know, would vehicles get better gas mileage if there were no ethanol added to gasoline? Short answer is yes. Uh, the reason for that is ethanol is less energy dense than gasoline. So pure gasoline has much more energy to it, even in the lower octanes, than does ethanol. Uh, the, the, it's about, ethanol is about one third or 33% less energy dense than is gasoline. We don't buy pure ethanol in our fuels though, we buy mixes. So going to, uh, just going to the uh, uh, fueleconomy.gov and looking at what the government has to say. Government, by the way, which heavily pushes ethanol as a fuel mixture and a, and a requirement, despite all the evidence against corn-based, as corn-based, which is what we use, corn-based ethanol being terrible <laughs> in the end. Uh, Anyway, the most common forms of ethanol purchased, so when you pull up to the pump and you put that spigot in and you start pumping, are E10 and E15. The numbers are the amount of ethanol mixed into the hole. So E10 is 10% ethanol, E15 is 15% ethanol. Um, the average fuel economy today for passenger vehicles is 26.4 mpg. You lose about one mile per gallon when you use the uh, E10 at the pump. You use slightly more than that, almost one and a half, about 1.38 or some number, with E15. So you do lose fuel economy. Uh, most of that fuel economy will be lost on the highway um, because that is where you're using the most energy to keep the vehicle moving. Uh, but you'll lose it, you'll lose at least one MPG either way. Flex fuel vehicles that use E85, which is 85% ethanol, those are about 15 to 20% less fuel efficient than their standard gasoline. So if you pump E85 into your uh, flex fuel, say truck, and you go down the road, and then you empty, the, that tank is empty now, and you fill it with 100% 87 octane gasoline, you will see about 25 or more percent improvement in your fuel economy because uh, with the regular gasoline. So that's the differences. They're all based on how much energy is packed into each gallon of that fuel. Um, it's the same reason uh, like electric vehicles don't have the same kind of range uh, per pound of, of storage on board, all that is because gasoline in particular, but also diesel fuel, they're very, very energy dense. It's the reason they've dominated our market for so long. They're portable and dense with energy. So there you go. Ethanol, uh, it does cause, cost you fuel economy. It'll cost you 3 to 5% if you're pumping the regular E10, E15 at the pump. So hope that answers your question. Thanks, Jay. Uh, if you have a question, you want to ask it, and you have nowhere, no one else can help, Maybe you can find me on Aaron on Autos. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> People who know me know that uh, A Team, all time greatest show of all, uh, greatest show of all time ever. Uh, that I'm a huge fan. I, mean, I bust out Mr. T quotes a lot. <laughs> I have an A Team van, Hot Wheels in the <laughs> in the cell. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, if you have a question, find me on AaronOnAutos.com, find me on Quora, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Question me down below, doesn't matter. If you have a question, ask, and I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. I'm a little behind right now because I had a sudden influx of questions from people uh, through the contact form on Aaron on Autos, actually, and a couple on Facebook. So... I'm getting through those. Uh, there will be more of these videos. <laughs> the good news for me is that you're interested, and so I'm willing to I'm willing to keep doing these. Um, but that's it for today. These are the this is the last one I'm going to do today. But there will be more. So all right, Aaron AaronOnAutos.com. Talk to you again soon.